Hello everyone, this is Dave Johnson, and I'm channeling the Man Moon. This is Moonride. Today I want to uh, see a little bit about the uh, repressive laws in Texas that are restricting women's right to choose. I'm curious to know um, what's the meaning of this and what's going to happen. So let's start out with just the question. Uh, what is going to happen? What's the near future of this? I see um, people getting very angry uh, and um, actually doing a lot of work to counter the measures uh, that have restricted rights of women. And this will uh, really help to galvanize uh, people to uh, move towards the left, become more political, um, go out and vote. Again, I see first one angry woman, and I don't blame her. <laughs> and then I see a lot more. And then I see um, a lot of people joining together. This is a very defining issue. It will show you what people are really made of. And uh, for example, there are men that I see that are very sympathetic. Uh, one thing we might look at is, you know, what does this tell us about men, both sympathetic and non-sympathetic, as they uh, are involved in this issue? Um, it shows us that some of them are, you know, pretty awesome. Um, that they will, even though it doesn't necessarily affect them directly, um, they care about uh, the rights of others. And it also shows a great uh, deal of power in anger, frankly. Uh, these women are um, really motivated by their anger. So, can we know more about long-term future for women, a short-term future for this cause? Let's see. I see problems for the governor of Texas. I think this might be a final blow to his power. Um, he seems to be leaving. It's ironic that he is in a wheelchair because he leaves as a broken man. It's Governor Abbott, right? Yes. He's leaving um, very much pulled into obscurity. And I see a woman who seems to replace him. I don't know if this is symbolic, but it might be that the next governor is a woman. A lady replaces him. She's very um, pleasant and um, easy to be around. She looks like a good politician. Again, this could be symbolic of a uh, host of women, but it literally might be that person. There's a lot going on in Texas. Just it's like a you know, an emotional whirlwind in Texas right now. It's totally bipolar. But I think uh, one thing that will happen is that um, Dems take Texas, that it um, is so problematic and controversial and really this is a sort of straw that broke the camel's back, that uh, it might sh shift Texas blue. Remember that uh, state has lots of members of the House of Representatives, uh, not to mention, um, you know, two senators. So it will make a difference if they all go blue, or somewhat go blue. I get the feeling that at least one senator will go blue. Maybe, yeah, one senator and the other senator who remains red has a difficult time of it. So we're not certain now which senator will go. But um, I'm pretty sure one of them will go and become a, a Democrat. I keep in mind a lot of this might seem like it doesn't have to do with abortion, but it does. It has everything to do with it. Um, these are um, issues that now have come to fore. They're probably, for many people, a primary issue on the left and right. This, all this material is coming out so that we will um, take this seriously and we have something to unite against or for. Do not underestimate this. It's going to be a, a, a real loser of a story. You know, everything that the Republicans propose is pretty much a real loser. 
What about the long-term rights of the Supreme Court? Man, is Amy, Amy Coney Barrett is looking pretty evil right now. Just totally self-hating. That's what I get out of her, is just a self-hating woman. A woman who denies her womanhood. In lieu of enforcing laws, just to like a... You know, somebody in Iran forcing women to, a woman forcing other women to, you know, wear a veil and a burqa. Or cover their hair. Uh, it's very, she's like a maniac. Amy Conan, Conan Bryant, I mean, that, what we see is not that woman. She is a maniac. like a sort of sociopathic sort of control she wants to um, put over people. This, this Amy Coney Barrett is really a dark person. Kavanaugh is not looking so good either. These forces represent power. They really do represent a power over our um, justice, Supreme Court. But they represent also an angry fringe element, which um, people can identify. You know, uh, there are lots of secret people out there making deals that we don't know about. We can't get angry about them. We don't know what they're doing. But these two just are like examples of what we don't want in our society. So they will actually do a lot of good. They put a focus on what we oppose. else can we know about the future? The future uh, for uh, left people is brighter than it seems. All, all of this um, will come to fore in the next election. Um, I see us finally going back to a little bit more calm after the next election because we know that America has not totally lost its mind. Uh, I do see people um, being uh, sharing uh, a lot more love. You know, one thing about political events is it gets you together with other people who are doing political things. So in a lot of ways, uh, people join together on these events. And all of these events, don't forget they're all uh, joining people. They might seem very divisive. But they are also joining people who would, you know, maybe not agree on everything. But we all agreed that we, you know, hated Trump and we found him a horrible person. We all agreed on that. That was very uniting in some ways. So it might be difficult to see the positive aspects of what is happening um, because it's so appalling. And because, as usual, you know, it's a trick. You know, we always get tricked. It's not the majority of people who are voting and it's not the majority of people who are choosing these laws it's a minority and uh, we are always you know tricked but being that there is a majority of people it is helping us to um, recognize who we are the other thing is that um, it might be terrible but sometimes it's really good to get together with people and strategize about political methods of doing things. Uh, it, it's um, very, very, um, look at Georgia, you know, people got together, very specific people got together, and they did get political. They did get tough. They did go out and do things. Uh, all of us are going to have this opportunity to do the same thing and come out and do the, the right thing by our fellow people. I've got an interesting question here, and that is just when does the when does the soul enter the body? Kind of enters what I'm getting is when it, whenever it wants to. It doesn't necessarily arrive in the first month or any month. Your soul gets to choose that before you go into a body. Your soul decides. I don't want to be there for nine months. It's boring. The soul wants to experience what it experiences. 
So if the soul wants to experience one month in a person's um, stomach, that's what it does. We must be you know, mindful of this at the same time. We must understand a great, there is a great plan going on. There is a willing, there is a choosing of these souls for that body. It doesn't mean that they are responsible for everything that happens to them. Some souls just really come to the earth um, because there's a battle that they want to learn how to fight. And we might also think of ourselves in this way. Why did we choose this particular time to come to earth? What do we have to do? What do we have to learn here right now? It might seem like a annoying or terrible or horrible uh, set of events for you, but if you can uh, take a look and say, why was I born here? What, what am I here to learn? How can I uh, move forward? How can I help uh, the universe, people in my community? If you can step back and see that, it will be extremely helpful uh, as we move along the way to uh, fight against these dark forces. Thanks so much for watching.